something tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break me. My luck is complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. Break me. My luck is complicated. Good morning, sweetie. It's only good for people who like having their mouths tortured. I see you're looking forward to your checkup with Dr. Hertz today. I am so sick of these stupid braces, Mom. What's wrong with crooked teeth anyway? Nothing. But don't you want to make the most of that lovely smile of yours? Ugh. Hi, Maria. No, I can't go biking. I have to go see Dr. Hertz. Yeah, okay. Talk to you later. Bye. Um, excuse me? Sorry, but I couldn't help hearing. Did you say you're going to see Dr. Hertz? Unfortunately, yes. Is it really that bad? I'm on my way there to see if I need braces. Oh, don't worry. It's not really so horrible. How can you say that? My social life needs work as it is. And with braces, well, I just might as well forget about having a boyfriend for, what, the next million years? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Really. That's okay. I understand. I guess I used to feel like that myself. Am I being shallow? It's just that Lisa, my best friend, she just started going out with this guy, Cody, and he's so cool. And his best friend, Max, is like <laughs> the cutest boy I ever met. And not just cute. I mean, he's smart and funny and really, really nice. Anyway, I have this total crush on him, like you couldn't tell. <laughs> Duh. So what happens? He asked me out to go bowling with him on Saturday. Hello? Would I say no? Of course not. But if I get braces, I'm so not going out of the house, ever, except for school. Eh, maybe. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm sorry. It's just that you remind me of myself the day I got my braces. Really? Oh, yeah. It wasn't one of my better days. Honey, great news. Remember when we signed you up for braces in sixth grade to fix your whole wisdom teeth situation? Well, Dr. Hertz's office finally called. They have an opening today. No way! Don't worry, honey. It's only for a couple of years. Years? 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 Just like that? No warning at all? Nope. Unless you count being signed up when I was 11. But I'd forgotten all about it by then. Eeh, sounds awful. It wasn't really. It's just that the day had started out so perfectly. Oh, yeah? Why? Alden Jones. This boy would had a major crush on forever. Well, I was sitting with some of my friends in the cafeteria at school. Of course, that's assuming he passes his boards. Hi. Mind if I join you? So, uh, I was thinking... The disco decorations are supposed to be really cool on Saturday. I thought maybe you'd want to see it. With me. At the dance. That is so cool. Yeah. I'll never forget it as long as I live. Well, here we are. We're a little early. You want to walk for a while? Sure. So, what happened at the dance? Did you and Alden have, like, the best time? Well, not exactly. I didn't go to the dance with Alden, but not because of my braces, which he was totally cool about, by the way. But because someone who shall remain nameless lied to him and sabotaged our date. So what'd you do? Well, I figured the best way for us to spend more time together was for me to apply for a job working with him at his uncle's factory. Good idea. Well, I thought so at the time, but... Ew! What's 
What's that horrible smell? That's what meatpacking plants smell like. The job's in a meatpacking plant? Yeah, free hot dogs. Great, I, I love hot dogs. Please don't let me get this job. Please don't let me get this job. You got the job, didn't you? <laughs> of course. Ew, what'd you do? Wear nose plugs? <laughs> Believe it or not, yeah. But the whole experience made me become a vegetarian, so it was worth it. The only thing was, I started feeling kind of icky about Alden. They don't really look like meat, do they? At the slaughterhouse, there were all these animals just lined up, waiting to die. It was awful. That's why I'm quitting, Alden. Cool. It's great you're taking a stand. If I felt like that, I'd quit too. You mean he didn't quit too? So did that end your almost relationship? Nah, I realized that just because he ate meat didn't mean he wasn't the sensitive, great guy I always thought he was. <sighs> so you went out with him after that? <laughs> no. After that, things got even worse. <laughs> Alden, that's his name, right? He sounds perfect for you. That's what I thought, too. And the more I got to know him, the more I realized that he and I were meant for each other. So I finally decided to make the first move and let him know. Please don't pick up. Please don't pick up. Hey, it's Alden. Leave a message and I'll get back to you when I can. Hi, it's Sharon. Sharon Spitz. I, um, wanted to let you know that... It's so obvious we're soulmates. I realized it at the record store the other day. Actually, I realized it the day we met. Anyway, you're really nice, and you're really fun, and I just hope you don't think I'm all weird for saying this, but I couldn't keep it a secret anymore. The money shoe thing's weird, but sort of a sign, don't you think? Bye! Wow! It must have really impressed him. Well, the message accidentally went to the wrong person's voicemail. Ugh! You must have the worst luck in the world. My life is definitely interesting. But if I was really that unlucky, I never would have gotten the call. I couldn't help it. I had to check my voicemail right away, just in case. There was always a million and one chance it could be a life-altering message. Hey, Sharon, it's Alden. Um, I was thinking, you're really nice and funny, and then we have so much in common. Maybe we should hang out. I mean, outside school. Isn't it weird that we both keep money in our shoes? Yes! And I bet your first date was, like, totally romantic. <laughs> romantic? <laughs> no way. It was the worst first date ever. Ow. Oh. Mm. Mm. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. It's just my stomach. Uh, maybe you should sit down. I didn't know what was happening. One minute it was like we were in heaven. The next, I was seriously worried about finding a toilet. Uh, then do you want me to take you home? Uh, um, I don't think anyone's home. Well then, um... Ow! That's it! I'm calling 911! Uh, no, it's okay, it's Help. okay! Help! I think my friend's having an appendicitis attack! <gasps> How embarrassing! Actually, that wasn't even the worst part. Sharon's going to be just fine. If you haven't had the cramps before, they can take you by surprise. The cramps? Yes, that's what I said. <clears throat> uh, is that a life-threatening illness or something? Of course not. Most girls get them at some time or another during their menstruation cycle. It's just too bad your sister had to get them with her first, period. His sister? Now, there are enough sanitary napkins to last a few days. Of course, we've already shown her how to use them. No! That is so awful. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. But you know what? Alden has older sisters, and he was cool with it. And once I got over the embarrassment, we finally did become boyfriend and girlfriend. All right. But your braces, weren't you freaked about kissing him? Uh, like you wouldn't believe. But they had to come off for a whole day, so I decided 
that we were going to have our first kiss while I was brace free. Finally, a lucky break. That's what I thought. Wow, what luck. <laughs> but my kid brother interrupted us, and we never got another chance that night. No. Yes. Though, when Alden and I finally did have our first kiss, I was wearing my braces, and it was still fabulous. Oh. Oh. Uh. Braces didn't bother him at all? Not one bit. Okay. I'm starting to feel slightly less freaked. You should. If that guy Max likes you, he'll like you with or without your braces. I guess. Trust me, my braces have never gotten in the way of having a boyfriend. As a matter of fact, there was this guy, Jason. He was a counselor in training at this summer camp I went to. But what about Alden? Well, I didn't think he cared anymore because he was hardly writing any letters. Okay, so what happened? Alden decided to pay me a surprise visit. Sharon! <gasps> Alden? Was he jealous? He sure wanted to know who Jason was. And I sure gave him a hard time for surprising me like that. Thought he was spying on me. Was he? No, but that wasn't why I was really down on Alden. Now, I know this sounds awful, but I thought that next to Jason, Alden just seemed kind of boring. Really? Yeah, that's why all I could think about was being alone on a boat with Jason. We are currently northwest. Are you sure? How do I know you know how to read a compass? Well, when the red arrow is at the end, that indicates that... Ah! You all right? Jason take control? Uh, not exactly. <laughs> ah! Jason, snap out of it! I need your help! We're going to die! <laughs> we were saved by the rescue boat. Hey! Stay back. Aw, what a happy ending. Oh, that's not the ending. There's more. In a way, the story should have stopped right there, because the good times didn't last much longer. They didn't? How come? Hmm, high school. I think it was the beginning of the end for me and Alden. Ugh, I am so dreading high school. <laughs> Don't worry. The first few weeks were rough, but everything's cool now. I hope you're right. So, what broke you and Alden up? It started when he met this cheerleader named Tess. <laughs> <laughs> Brock and Alden doing with them. Who? Those cheerleaders. Oh, they're not really with them, are they? You tell me. Ahem. Uh, hi, Sharon. You know Tess and Leanne. They were at Kimberly Junior High. Hi. We were just talking. I'll catch up with you later. He dumped you for a <laughs> cheerleader? How totally shallow. Alden and Tess were just friends, but I got jealous and I wrote a nasty pretend letter about them. Like the kind you write in your diary? Anyway, I vented all my frustration and resentment. Dear Alden, how could you possibly hang out with Tess What's-Her-Name? Can't you see she's a total airhead whose biggest issue in life is what size enhancing bra to wear? Does she even have one interesting thing to say? Oh, okay, Lawrence. I feel a little better. Oh, no! What's happening? 
happening? Where'd it go? I wasn't really going to send that thing. Remember what I said about luck? Alden was really upset with me. And when I tried to apologize to explain how it had happened, he just didn't want to listen. I guess I just saw a side of you I never knew. So what does that mean? Are you waking up with me? You are. So, does this mean you're going out with Tess now? She's just a friend, okay? This has nothing to do with her. I mean it. I just want to be on my own for a while. Keep it simple. Oh, I am so sorry. I realized too late that I should have just trusted him more. But everything's fine now. It was weird at first, but we finally got to be really good friends. So, did you ever meet anyone else you liked? Well, there was this new guy in school that I kind of liked named Bailey. So what happened? Alden. Alden? He got bonked on the head by a hockey puck, and when he came to, he thought I was still his girlfriend. How are you? Hi. Dude. Oh, you must have been really worried. I'm so sorry. Amnesia? Yeah, and so I had to pretend to be his girlfriend because the doctor said a shock might interfere with his recovery. Let me guess. You got back together. Yes and no. <gasps> what am I doing? Uh, kissing me goodnight? But I shouldn't be. Why not? Because, uh, I, uh, uh, achoo! Oh, I'm catching a cold. No kissing until I get better. <laughs> Whatever you say. It was awful. I felt like I was falling in love with Alden all over again. I knew it. You two are so meant to be together. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not finished. I haven't told you about Alden's new girlfriend, Marlo. Marlo? Is she a cheerleader? <laughs> no, and she's really nice. Even though it was hard for her, too, she was pretty cool about the whole thing. And remember, the amnesia wasn't going to last forever. But you're my girlfriend, and I love you. You just said you love me. Yeah? You've never said that before. Ever. I know. Ready for the game? Oh, hi! The game! You going? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I'm sorry, what were we talking about? Oof! I can't stand it! It is kind of frustrating when you think about it, especially since... What? You're not telling me something. Well, it's probably nothing, but a few days later... Oh, look! Alden and Marlo. Hi! Bye! Bye. You're my girlfriend. And... I love you. And that's it! For now. What do you mean? There's more to this story. It just hasn't happened yet. No way. Alden and Marlo are great together. And I'm really comfortable with the way things are. So no more catching balls with your mouth, Ted, okay? All right, I'm ready for you now, Tracy. Good luck. I don't need braces! Just a nighttime retainer. Oh, sorry to sound so happy about it. <laughs> That's okay. All righty, Sharon, it's your turn. Tracy, what are you still doing here? I didn't get a chance to say thanks. For what? Calming me down before the appointment. By the time I got in there, I realized 
I could have a life, even with braces. Cool. Yeah, what you said really helped. Huh, it kind of helped me too. I realized that my braces have sort of become part of who I am now. But I still think that even if you're not actually unlucky, you've had some really bad stuff happen to you. My mom's a therapist. She always says bad times are an opportunity to grow. Then you must have grown a lot. Hmm, I guess you're right. Sharon? Alden? I'm just on my way to practice. <coughs> oh, sorry. This is Tracy, Tracy, Alden. Hey. Hi. I've heard so much about... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. Nice to meet you, Tracy. See you later, Sharon. You're right. He is cute. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs>